Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester here. Well, they said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't be done. But folks, I am here to tell you that not only can it be done, it has been done. The golden toolbox has been found on the Midwich Elementary School map from the Silent Hill chapter. Let's go. So I think most of my viewers are familiar with what I'm talking about when I mention the Golden Toolbox, but if you're new around here, you might not be sure, or even if you aren't new around here, maybe you just never heard of this Golden Toolbox thing. Well, the Golden Toolbox is an unspoken Easter egg that the devs have planted into each of the realms in Dead by Daylight maps. So this is the most easily spotted golden toolbox and the very first one here on the Haddonfield map underneath the picnic table, you see that golden toolbox just out of reach. So what does the golden toolbox do? Nothing, absolutely nothing. You can't get the toolbox, it just sits there mocking you out of reach. It's kind of like a little fun uh, Where's Waldo game with the entity to try and figure out where the devs have placed these golden toolboxes in the different maps. Now, when I say that there's one per realm, remember there are something like 35 maps in Dead by Daylight, but there's only 15 realms and there's only one golden toolbox per realm. For example, on the Red Forest maps, we have Mother's Dwelling that came with the Huntress, and then we have the Temple of Purgation, which came with the Plague. Well, there's only one golden toolbox between those two maps, and that one happens to reside on the Mother's Dwelling map. So there's 15 golden toolboxes to find in all across the 35 different maps. So to say that the golden toolboxes have gotten progressively harder and harder and harder to find would be nothing short of an understatement. Some of you may have seen my video about the finding of the golden toolbox on the Hawkins lab and the clue room that they set up because we were struggling so hard to find that golden toolbox on that map but finally it was found and it has gotten even harder since then i know where the golden toolbox is on the dead dog saloon in the grave of glenvale map but i don't know how to trigger it and reveal it to the world and this um silent hill midwich Ele elementary school map golden toolbox has been hidden for nine months and the devs told us that it was possibly impossible to find but that didn't keep us from trying so we were jumping through all the hoops we could think of to try and figure out how to solve this puzzle we made sure that we put on five mary's letter offerings we tried to get a very specific configuration on the map where it had these telephones on the desk here and then in the chair room, this flashlight in the top of the locker and also the radio in this locker here, which interestingly only makes static when you're playing against a pyramid head killer in the game. We went all through the map with all the puzzles, the crying girl in the bathroom stall. We went and made sure that we popped the body out of the locker in the locker room here. Everything we could think of that was connected to Silent Hill to trigger everything. We did the generators in the proper order to get the clock tower puzzle to work, doing the chemistry generator first, and then the music room generator after that. And finally opening the door and going to that clock tower opening with that chest there in the bottom and opening it up and hoping that finally we would have solved the puzzle and gotten the golden toolbox out of this box and ba-bam, now empty. We even put the Vic Viper charm on to see if that made any difference. We even went so far that we tried to time this endeavor to match the clocks in Silent Hill that read 4.43 here, match Montreal local time when we were doing this exercise to see if that had any effect. And I had pretty much all but given up. The devs were so adamant that it was possibly impossible. And I had a dev tell me that they were so disheartened that I found the golden toolbox on the Ormond Resort map within an hour of it going live. That they were going to make sure that they kept making these more and more difficult. And they definitely succeeded. But you know who never gave up is Beast Gaming on YouTube. 
James just kept at it, and one day, a glorious day, on St. Patrick's Day, luck shined down and revealed the gold on the Midwich Elementary map. And James, Beast Gaming, and his girlfriend were kind enough to share the adventure with me and bring me along, take me for the ride, and show me where this golden toolbox was. You ready to get lined up, brother? I think that Actually, looks I think about perfect. perfect. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna practicing. push, push into yeah, the. I'd scoot over a little more to the left. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna line up very quick. I'm gonna hit that record because I'm fucking tired. Uh -oh. Just kidding. So, all right. All right, here we go. Now I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna line up the Mori symbol with this. Okay, we gotta open the gate first. Yeah, the one well, below cap. Right okay. Yeah. Did you not need the other one already? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Mori time, baby. Give me the juice. It's there we there. go. I see it. It's I there. Oh it's my there. god. I've it. seen it. All right, we'll do it now. Let's see what we get. We know it's there already. We got gold. Don't yes, forget. Oh, I see it's an it on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm thought you were better on that one. All right, that's it. Oh, Rock wow. Up. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Thank you so much for including me in that. Oh, yeah, man. oh man, I can't believe it. You figured it out. I know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that could have gone never found if it wasn't for all that work you put into that. Isn't that incredible? Like, I can see why the devs thought this would be possibly impossible to find because it requires so many specifics. You have to have Pyramid Head as the specific killer to perform the Mori in a very specific spot so that when they pull the character up that's being moried, you can see inside, inside of that sludge mound. And one thing that I didn't tell you is that the sludge mound is completely empty until the end game collapse begins. The box is invisible, it hasn't spawned until the end game collapse begins. We did the, um, the specific gens, the uh, chemistry room and the music room gens, um, just to try and get that lined up, but I don't think that that's necessary at all. In fact, you can even just go in 1v1 with your friend and um, close the hatch to create the endgame collapse and then go to that specific spot to perform the Mori. But it's you got to get it right. You want to be between the left leg of that desk and the um, left side of the first handle on the first drawer and then you have to use those tiles on the floor as pyramid head as markers to figure out where you're at because that is probably the most key point of doing this is having pyramid head in the same spot to perform the mori so he can pull you up through the sludge mound and you can see right inside yeah i think if you yeah right there, right there. all right so now i'm gonna reposition get right up again Oh yeah, yeah, perfect. I think you're good. All right, I think we're good. Finally, for real. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, why aren't you doing it yet? Don't do this. All right, this is the one for you, Paul. We're finally gonna get you the perfect view. Please. There we go. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. God. <laughs> beautiful. So that's it. Uh, made a pretty special St. Patrick's Day for me. I can't thank James from Beast Gaming and Fatal Seductions enough for including me in on that. They didn't have to do that. But uh, James said that I was kind of like the go-to guy for this golden toolbox. And he wanted me to be the one to show it to all of you. So, um, you know, I, I can't thank them enough for doing that for me. And, uh, yeah, it really made my day. It, just seeing it and... Having the weight off of it, it's finally found. We can move on to the next one. Try and figure out that Grave of Glenvale map with the Dead Dog Saloon. 
for another day. That's a battle for another day. Right now, we're going to rest here on this victory. And again, James and Fatal, thank you so very much for including me on that. I can't thank you enough. Just it, it was so special to be a part of that and to see it um, firsthand like that. And I, I just can't thank you enough. And I can't thank all of you enough for tuning in and watching this here. I appreciate you all. And don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.